Okay guys, and we're back. It has finished doing the, the update. So it says, and you are online. So let's do the customize. Set up your network. So it's gonna ask, see the name and password. I don't know if this is the 2.4 or the five gigahertz or what, but um, let's just type something up here, let's see. I'm going to put the uh, mics super network password okay setting up portal is making your network oh pretty cool animation guys pretty cool So let's see what the next next step is. So I'm assuming that wasn't to make an account, that was to make a, my network name or SSID, but anxious to find out what the next step is. Connected to home. Okay. Connect your phone from Wi-Fi settings. Copy password. Let's see what that does. I'm going to exit out my app, Wi-Fi, and there we go, Mike's Super Network, Mike's Super Network HD, that must be the 2.4 um, gigahertz band. So let's, uh, let's connect to that, put my Password on that. Interesting, they call it HD and five instead of five. But let's do copy password success. So, what that did is, I assume it took my password and copied it to the secondary network name the, the with the HD so let's click next yeah this, those aren't tablet those are just examples let's click next all done you can change settings anytime using your phone uh, shows you what's fastest and what's fast let's see your networks let's click home Let's do allow notifications, and then here's the here's the home screen right here. Shows you devices connected. Don't know why it doesn't have my iPhone, but uh, everything looks good. No guests are connected. Let's see, we tap on portal. Oh, there we go. Mike Super Network 2.4. Mike Super Network 5. Uh, let's do advanced device settings. Let's see what that is. I'm a very uh, curious, curious guy. Uh, and then um, let's see, we'll do it. Maybe a speed test too when I get to it. So operating channel one, two point four, fifty two on the five gig. Web GUI enabled. Bridge mode. Compatibility mode. Works for most new mobile phones, tablets, TVs, laptops, and other Internet of Things devices, compatibility mode. Don't know if we should turn that on or if it's going to reduce any magic. Works for most new mobile phones, tablets, TVs. I don't know. We'll do maybe a speed test with and without. Let's see if we want to enable that or not. I like that. Like that. Okay, so if you enable it, most fast lanes except channel 100. It's B, most fast lanes except channel 100 and 116. Mode C, fast lanes turn off. Ideal for pairing devices that don't support 5 gigahertz 
or as they call it, the HD fast lanes view devices. Let's see if we tap on that. I'm probably oh, it it crashed. So that's interesting. Let's go back. Get in. Get inside the app. See what happened to tap internet. So it's got a WAN IP address. Tap on portal. There we go. And all right. Show advanced settings. Let's compare, see if the 2.4 and the 5 advanced settings are the same. It's probably pretty similar. Compatibility mode. A, B, and C, 100, and then excludes 100 and 116. Let's check that out. 100 and then 116. So it seems the same. So when in doubt, we'll just leave the default, leave that, leave that off. Should be off because I didn't apply the setting. So let's go back, see what else there is. You got the sidebar. Works. That's kind of nothing. So a pretty simple app. Administrator, that's me. Nothing happens. I'm not going to add guest networking. So on the little gear icon, let's see what that does. You can check for upgrades. Restart network or decline network. If I don't want to be the administrator, let's check upgrades. Oop. Yeah, so I'm already all update. Okay, so now let's do let's do a speed test on the, with the portal router. I'm gonna do on the, the on the H on the HD one. So what's interesting is they put a they put a space on that. That's, that's kind of interesting. Make sure we're signed up to that. I mean, a speed test isn't the holy grail, but uh, can give you an idea as long as you do, do several tests because network speed varies quite a bit, guys. And we're going to choose, instead of New Jersey, we're going to choose, choose Los Angeles, Las Vegas. There's LA right there. Okay, start the test. Oof. Pretty good latency, only 16. And I have a 200 megabyte, 200 megabyte package, and wow, holy crap! I think that's set a record speed. Holy, holy Toledo, 275 download, and I usually get around 30 to 150, 200 if I'm lucky, because I'm I'm on a 200 megabyte plan um, with Spectrum Internet. So let's do that again. Make sure it wasn't a, a fluke or anything. A little slower latency with 18, but wow. Well over 200 with that. That is pretty, that is pretty amazing. Uh, let's switch, let's switch over to the other network and see, see what kind of difference Let's see, Mike's cable. So what I will be testing right now is my modem router combo. It's the Nighthawk. I don't remember the model number. It's the top of the line. See something capable of 686 megabytes, 24 channel bond down, 8 up, something like that. So this is top of the line. And let's put the Los Angeles server, keep everything fair and equal. And let's start the test. Latency much higher, unless the network traffic just changed. And wow, guys, look, just only 50 some megabytes. How do you explain that? Oh, wow. Now the download is just zero. Wow. My phone just crashed or what, but. Uh, Alright guys, well, that was a couple tests. Either way, either way, I think that's pretty impressive. 
let's try to go back in the app let's make sure I'm connected to Mike's cable 5 gigahertz let's go back on that okay open my speed smart app okay make sure I am on uh, Mike's cable that it hasn't switched on me or anything like that okay switch to Los Angeles I don't know why it wants to say New Jersey is the closest when it's clearly not it might be closest to who is ever operating the server or something like that and let's start okay wow so for whatever t reason today we're getting good speed I guess the latency latency was slow but 240 download on that let's try again really quick there we go quicker latency on that and about 150 something give or take all right now let's try on the 2.4 because many people have an older device older device and they don't have a they don't have 5 gigahertz device so let's just do the what I labeled super network which is the 2.4 band of the portal portal router see what happens delay again and start test and there could be a couple people in the house using the internet so stuff like this could fluctuate and but wow even so, that is pretty miserable. Let's, let's start again. This should be still. Well. So anyway, um, that's the thing with the <laughs> running tests. Anything, anything could happen. All right. Well, I'm gonna end the video right there. Um, I might do an update or second second video on this other than that thanks for tuning into my youtube channel check out my other videos and my other really cool stuff and hope you have a great day please forward by, and share the link of this review to your friends and family so they can see this and the other really cool products that i have out and will be reviewing in the future i'm going to really accelerate my my upload and uh, once again, I am not paid or endorsed to review these products or receive any discount. So if anyone's going to be honest, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Anyway, take care and please subscribe.